All right, so my name is Keith Blodorn. I'm the wireless director uh, for ProSoft. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, an interesting application uh, that we do with leaky feeder cable, radiating cable. Okay. The question I have is have you ever seen a ghost? Well, if you know analog, if you had old analog cable TV, you probably have, right? You've seen these ghost images that you used to get on, on TV. And what was happening there was you had signal going through your cable from the cable company, a nice strong signal. But you also had the same signal coming in over the air and hitting that cable and sometimes getting in there. And when you didn't have very good shielding, you would get a ghost, a ghost image on your TV. That's a, that's a case of bad leaky cable, right? So, so who, wants, who wants a cable that leaks? Well, it turns out there's a lot of applications in industry where having a cable that can actually work as an antenna is, is actually valuable. Uh, we have cases, a lot of cases where we have rotating equipment or moving equipment, uh, like bottle filling machines or um, you know automated carriers, overhead cranes. And the way we communicate with those things today, a lot of times, is through slip rings or festoons or cables. And uh, those things turn out to be real uh, maintenance nightmares. Radiant cable lets you put a wireless signal right up close to that. Uh, to the moving parts uh, without having to uh, create a whole lot of RF noise and things like that. So it can be really good in those applications. Another application where we see radiating cable is where equipment has to move along a strange path or a path that's not easy to get to with a typical antenna. Um, a lot of cases where we see that are overhead cranes, things for car carriers going through an automotive plant, for example. Uh, I had a guy from Six Flags stop by the booth. Uh, we put radiating cable in amusement rides. Um, they obviously follow a strange path, not very easy to get a uh, uh, communication antenna to them, uh, but uh, they need to communicate reliably and radiating cable allows you to put RF exactly where you need it along that path. What is radiating cable? Well, wow, go back. Did I do that? All right. Um, it looks like any other shielded coaxial cable, except the difference is we've got slots cut in the shield. The slots are very uh, specific in size, and what that does is it allows the cable to radiate a particular frequency. So typically 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz for wireless LAN applications. Uh, these are also used in cell um, applications, cell uh, service through a tunnel, for example, um, and uh, in emergency services like that. The direction of the slots also determines where that RF signal is going to go. So it gives you very good control over where you want your RF to go and where you don't want it to go. In a lot of plants, we're starting to see RF pollution. A lot of radio uh, devices out there that are transmitting, receiving, it's getting harder and harder to find clean air to put this uh, to, to put your devices on. So radiating cable allows you to design systems that are basically good neighbors. They don't radiate as much. Uh, don't create as much RF pollution, they keep everything exactly where you need it. So radiating cable just works by conducting that, that uh, RF signal that's on the cable and allowing it out through those slots. So very, very simple. Wow, this thing is going by itself. Stop. Man, you're killing me. All right. Key benefits, you keep the signal where you need it. Uh, you get rid of things like slip rings um, that can be a real uh, maintenance hassle. And it's, very, it's much easier to keep a clean, lean, uh, clean line of sight between your, your radiating devices. You put the radiating cable exactly where it needs to go. You can go around obstructions. Uh, if you have a path through a warehouse, you can follow that path with the radiating cable and not have to put antennas all over the place. A couple of things to consider when you're looking at a radiating cable application. Number one, turn off your auto advance on your slides. That would be number one application. Um, 
You can put uh, two segments of radiating cable for each radio. This is killing me. Um, we recommend that you keep radiating cable to about 100 meter maximum segment length. If you're going longer than that, and we have many applications that do, we put multiple segments out there, two segments on a radio, and if you go more than one radio, uh, we have radios that are capable of fast roaming. So what we do in these cases, we overlap the uh, segments just a little bit to make sure our radios uh, have the proper amount of time to roam. That's dependent on how fast your application is moving. Uh, but uh, with our roam times under 50 milliseconds, um, it's, it's a pretty good application for our radio. Uh, so it's pretty easy to, to put these, design these things in. We've got a demo uh, working right, uh, right over there, uh, showing a filling line that's, that's actually pumping real data out uh, in this noisy RF environment, and we're still running video. Um, and it's working better than my PowerPoint did. So, uh, so if you have any questions about radiating cable, stop by. We'll, uh, I'm happy to talk about it or any other wireless applications. Thanks a lot.